Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Cross Beans Production. Welcome back, you're here with Nate to wait and this is Cross Beats Production. So in this video I want to show you guys how to get that auto-tune effect on your vocal and how to achieve that using some pretty uh, cheap-ish kind of plugins that you may not know that you even have. Um, so if you have, which I've seen a lot of people have, the complete ultimate or complete ultimate 9, 10, 11, all of those um, usually should have this plugin in it. So it's called the mouth. And what the mouth is, is basically like a vocal effect plugin that can be used to do other things other than Ultratune, but it's it's definitely uh, a worthy contender for, I guess, your Ultratune type plugins there. Um, so like I said, if you've got native instruments and you've bought the complete set previously, I've had that for probably about seven years now, or maybe, uh, maybe not that long, maybe four years. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've had it for roughly about that long and I kind of fiddled around with it for a while but didn't really get stuff that I wanted and then I realized that this plugin was in there and I kind of uh, decided to go mess around with it. So what I found was that it came up with a setting here. So this spread duet setting, which is the first setting that you find in there, um, it basically allows you to then set it up so you can get that ultra tune type or auto tune, I should say, type effect. Um, what I'll do is show you this from the scratch. So I'll just open up a new instance. So I'll just go into my native instruments folder there and go down to React FX. So that's where it's actually held in. Uh, it's in the Reactor player. And then I'll just go down to the player uh, settings here. So you see all these different plugins that you can get. Uh, it's the mouth that we're actually after. So just double click on that and it'll open up a, another instance of the mouth. So this is the settings that I use to get this sound that I showed you in the video. And basically what I did was I've got it on the key of C and it's in natural minor and that's the, the scale that I'm using. But what I do is change this to uh, one, three. So it's one, three, four, five, six. So one, three, four, five, and six. So let's go, wow, stupid mouse, calm down. There we go. No, that's not it. One, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So one, three, four, five, and six is a setting that it, it basically allows the key to manipulate throughout that that the one, three, four, five, and the six. And um, I've changed the harmonics or harmony down to all the way full. And I just reduced this effect submit a little bit there. Increase the voc, and I'll explain to you why I did that. So FX is here. Basically, it allows you to have different sort of effects on the vocal, which I've just created a delay, so medium delay. I'll leave these settings alone here. I don't actually need to affect those at all because it actually is set pretty well right how I need it to be. Um, so as you can see here, that's the settings that I've used. Next thing I move across, just leave these other to the synth and the bass and the input. Leave them alone because you don't really need to affect that. So it's just on wide duet. That's a standard uh, that it comes with that preset that I showed you there. The synth is on classic and the voc is on the cyclone or cyclone or Cy cylon, I think it's pronounced. Um, so that's the settings there. So basically those settings that I've used, as you can see here, it's played exactly the same. And what I'll do is show you what that sounds like on the vocal. I'll play you the original vocal without it, and then I'll show you um, how it actually gets out of key stuff back into key and tunes it, but like an auto-tune type effect on it. So the main thing is when you're singing into this plugin, um, you can put it onto your, your vocal, so your input on your vocal, or you can just put it on an already sung vocal if you wanted to or needed to. Uh, so you sing into it out of key, and then it tries to bring it back into key, and the reason why it does that is because it's trying to correct it in a, I guess, a fast kind of way, so it corrects the pitch of the actual song or vocal. So I'll play it to you the vocal without it, so you can hear how out of key it is, and uh, then I'll play it with it on there, and then you guys can hear that as well. So let's just play it with it, and I'll move this across here and just do that now. Do you want your voice to sound like this? Like the T-Pain effect All day, all day, all way So let me put it on there and show you the massive difference. Do you want your voice to sound like this? Like the T-Pain effect All day, all day, all way yeah. Cross Beats Production 
All right, cool. So how cool is that? It's pretty quick to do that. Doesn't take a lot. Obviously, you can affect your input and output on this actual plugin. So if you want to get louder or more driven into the plugin, you can. Um, but I've left it as it is, and then I ma manipulated the audio after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really got to say thank you a lot for subscribing. Thank you for paying attention to this channel, and thank you for helping it grow. We're almost at a thousand, so I'm really uh, I'm grateful for what I've got so far, and I'm hoping that I can get to a thousand and keep going from there. Uh, but otherwise, love you guys, and as always, peace. Hit the subscribe button. Make a comment, yeah. If you're gonna dislike, 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 get the heck out of here.